And secondly, this is the one that really kind of stinks in my estimation. I saw this this story about these these girls, these uh, the the two basketball players, Cavender twins, Haley and Hannah Cavender, and how they're putting University of Miami women's team under sanctions and penalties for recruiting violations. And I thought it was weird because how are you going to have recruiting violations in an NIL environment? To me, that sounds oxymoronic. Like you can sign a million dollar deal selling ice cream. But if you go over Booster's house and have dinner, that's still illegal. That just shows the continued hypocrisy of the NCAA. Like that doesn't even make sense to me. And that's very similar to going way back. I think this was in the nineties, I believe it was. When I believe it was Rick Majerus, he was coaching at Utah. I could be wrong on this. We'll Google it when we're done. But he got in trouble because he took two re two recruits out to get a pizza. And that was an NCAA violation. He because he took them to a pizza spot and he paid for the pizza. Dumb shit like that is why people hate the NCAA. Because everybody, um, in my opinion, one of the best things to happen to student athletes was the NIL stuff. Because nobody, everybody wants to talk about how bad it is for the athletes and are they going to be able to handle themselves and this, that, and the other. And all of those concerns are not necessarily false. However, nobody wants to, to bring up the fact of all the money the NCAA has made off of the name, image, and likeness of these kids. The video games, the merch. Oh my God, how much money has the NCAA made off just merchandising alone? Just on that, how many jerseys have they sold? And, and they try to be slick because you go to some places and you'll see the number, but you don't see the name on the back of the jersey. Some places you can't get the name. But everybody knows if somebody's wearing a particular number, you know what it's going to be. You know who it represents. And if that kid is on your campus and he's balling out or she is balling out on the field, on the court, whatever, those those jerseys and that merch is going to sell and the kids wasn't getting none of that money and they had the nerve to talk about well you're getting a free education it's like stop it stop it because the money some of that merchandise was making these kids could have got a free education and paid for a whole bunch of other people to get free education like so stop playing with that but i just thought it was very odd that they're gonna they're gonna bring down penalties on the University of Miami women's team because essentially it looks like these girls went to a recruiter's house or a booster's house, however you want to call it, booster, recruiter, they all do the same thing. And supposedly they had dinner, so that's a NCAA violation. But they can get a deal selling phones with Verizon or whatever the situation is because they already got NIL deals. So I don't, that's weird to me. That's weird to me. And let's not, one of the, if, if anybody, go look at, go way back, and you look at Spike Lee's He Got Game. Watch that movie. Yes, it's a movie, but some of the foundation of that movie, especially when it comes to recruiting and how teams and schools will recruit some of these high school athletes and some of the things that happened, all of that stuff ain't fiction. Let me just say it like that. If you've seen the movie, you probably understand what I'm talking about. But that stuff happens on the men's side all the time. You look at some of those big names that come from schools like this. If you talk to some of those guys that played football back in the 90s and the early 2000s, and even back in my day in the early, you know, late 80s into the 90s, and all of the stories that we used to hear going to these big schools and the stuff that they would get and the things that the boosters would do for them and all of that kind of stuff. If they really wanted to crack down, they could have cracked down years ago. 
but now they got egg on their face and now they want to how you gonna punish the the women's team it ain't like the women's team the the women's sports get getting a lot of money anyways so i don't understand that it's just more hypocrisy from the ncaa check out the story it's pretty interesting and i've never followed miami basketball but i'll follow them now just to see what happens with these two girls so very interesting very hypocritical with the NCAA, they just continue to make themselves look worse. It is what it is. I'm out. Peace.